Is it going? Nice. Well, I think it is. It says, it says record. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it is. Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Window Change by Andrew Frost, a.k.a. Slightly Obsessed. But first of all, this. Please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. It really is very good now. I've just invested all my money again in it, so it's getting better and better, uh, getting bigger and bigger, and we're having lovely community uh, stuff going on every Monday, so do come and hang out. So um, I'm, I'm here at the moment in my studio, managing to do a review. It's so nice. I haven't done a recorded one for a while. I'm with my son. Uh, Woody, do you want to come and say hello quickly, Woody? Hi. Say hello. Hi. Is this live? Yeah, your head's not in it. Get your head in it. No, it's not live. I'm recording. Okay. Or oh, you can go now. Okay. Uh, who, don't do the yo-yo. Okay. Uh, so who has been helping me set up the cameras, etc. Because we've been homeschooling today and it's all very, very good fun. So, uh, it's a good one this because the quick, I wanted something quick to be able to get my head around, to learn, to review. And there's a few things like this uh, I've looked at recently. So the reviews may not be as long, but it doesn't mean they're not uh, just as important. And I think this is an important one. This is, a, well, for me especially, because this is a move I've been obsessing, uh, excuse the pun, slight, for, for, a lot, slightly, uh, for a long time. I have spent years looking at these type of color changes. So it's based on Gene Hugard's hinge change. I think it is Gene, it's not Jean, is it? I think it's Gene Hugard's hinge change. Uh, but it's this kind of, this kind of color change where you're kind of, it's in, I don't I'll give too much away, but you know what I mean. The problem with the, the color change like this is the kind of getting into it. And he talks about this. And it's the one thing I've become so obsessed with over the years is Stealing the thing and getting it into position is something I just, it's like a path, you always see something. So it's fine in performance because you can misdirect from it while that bit's happening and then bring the attention to the, the cards when you want to do that moment. So it's not a massive problem, but it is a really nice project to just try and get it as, as so you, you've, nothing really looks like it's going on, uh, which is kind of why. I suppose it's kind of why it's that's that obsession of slightly obsessed. You get obsessed with these things, uh, which 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 is why I love magic, really. So then Ben, I remember seeing Ben Earl um, do his stroke change, and I got really into that. That's a that to me at the time was the the perfect one. There was very little movement beforehand. It just looked so soft and lovely, and the softness is something that's carried on to this. Really, it's very different to that. It feels very different. And it's very different to the window change, which is on the one of the Jeff McBride card manipulation DVD, which it, it's different, but it has a similar feel. It's got this kind of softness to it, this this lack of kind of, don't know, it, 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 the hands feel very, very open with it. Now, the, now, there are concessions to be made because of that, which, which we'll talk about in a sec. So, first of all, the difficulty of this thing, that the big thing when you see a, a, a download of one move and it's a 10 minute download, the thing we tend to think, is it really difficult? Is it knuckle busting? And he says when he starts off saying that this is, it is a technique, it is, it is, he kind of says it's difficult. He doesn't use that word, I can't remember what, what he actually says, but he says it's, a, it's not an easy thing to do. And then I was thinking, oh, are we talking kind of clip shift here? And no, it's not something like that. I managed to get the gist of this quite quickly. Now, again, I do use cards quite a lot, so it's, I'm not a beginner and it would be a different thing, but there wasn't anything in this that made me think, I've got to really get used to putting that finger in that weird position. It's just the smoothness of it that I think takes time. But it, there's nothing in it that I think is that difficult. And I was surprised at that. I thought, right, that's what's happening. And it frustrated me because I looked at this and thought, why hasn't I thought of that? It's, such a, it's almost like an elegantly simple idea to do. And, and the idea is based on theory from Tony Chang, which is this idea of getting rid of the extraneous move at the beginning and making like your hands literally looking like it's not doing nothing, which it kind of isn't. There's a lot of gravity involved in this there's a lot, lot of and I don't think that's giving anything away because th there's you're kind of using natural occurrences to allow this to happen which makes it look really good but it doesn't mean you don't have to do a lot you do have to you are going to have to practice this now I said about a concession and I think the only thing you're kind of giving up is a kind of angle here with the original versions of this and I don't mean the Jeff McBride thing because that is a very different change but with the original versions of this it's 
the, it, the angles are really quite good if, if you're sort of really if you're hiding it in the place where you hide it you can kind of nearly do it all around by holding the cards this one there is a slight more a slightly bigger angle issue there isn't really an angle issue i think in most situations you'll be able to make it work but there's a there's going to be some exposure at sort of from from back left really i suppose uh, because of the openness of this change but in most situations it's going to be absolutely fine uh, I really like this download. I like it because it's 10 minutes. It's not stretched out like a lot of my reviews. <laughs> you know, here's, here's the information. He goes into different applications of it, and there are a few applications of this. It doesn't have to be a color change. It, it's a beautiful appearance of a card, and there is a lovely um, uh, way of taking this out without doing this way of getting into it. And he talks about how you get into it. You know, if someone chooses a card, how to go from that point to choose the card to the change. So he talks to you briefly um, of... of uh, talks to you briefly about a move and takes you through it and it's a move that I'm very very fond of as well so that's kind of the extra bit that you get but for a 10 minute download it's concise it's good and I've really enjoyed playing with it and for those of us that are very busy at least it's something we can sit down and not die have to watch seven hours of, of footage it's like 10 minutes and we can do that Woody can you stop clicking the mouse please thank you very much uh, so that's the window change uh, really enjoy it it's down below there, all the uh, information will be, it, always look at the comment section because I always put little links down there, not the comment section, sorry, the information section, but do comment. Uh, it, it really means the world to me when people do get involved and ask me questions because I'm surely I've missed quite a lot out because my head's all over the place at the moment. And uh, like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course and stay safe. I genuinely hope you're all very well and thank you again always for your continued support. This is a lovely community. It's very positive. There's very rarely any negativity on there and for YouTube that's a, that's a big thing to say. Take care.